meet a Visay girl Christina Romanova, star of his Wake Me Up video. From his most recent collaboration with Rita Ora, Lonely Together, to his debut track Levels, the Swedish DJ dominated the airwaves. The biggest and best names were lining up to work with him, from Robbie Williams to Madonna. His sudden death aged just 28 shocked the world, with millions of fans flocking to social media to pay their respects. One of his biggest videos, Wake Me Up Now has an eye-watering 1.5 billion views on YouTube. While a Visay whose real name is Tim Bergling isn't in a clip, fans lapped up the visuals fronted by model Christina Romanova. Christina may not have turned the video into Emily Ratajkowski's infamous blurred lines moment, but she is still a success story in her own right. The luxury fashion model has walked the catwalk for the likes of Marc Jacobs, Square 2, and Jean Paul Gaultier. The scene was not for me. I took on board too much negative energy of Visaborn in Russia. The brunette beauty has over 241,000 devoted fans lapping up every new pic on her Instagram account. Christina's page is a hotbed of flesh flashing and tiny outfits. During a recent trip to the Bahamas, the slender gal regularly turned her many trips to the beach into a fashion shoot opportunity. In one shot, Christina can be seen relaxing in the surf. Rocking a tiny bikini, the model flashed her toned torso as her pal snapped away. Meanwhile, in another shot Christina topped up her tan on a swanky private yacht. Clearly loving life, the starlet captioned the snap. We will not have another life so make sure you enjoy it fully. Slipping into a cheese wire gold bikini, Christina allowed her perky booty to take center stage. Pushing out her behind, she sent fans into meltdown with the saucy snap. Last week. Ovis's family statement appeared to confirm their son had tragically taken his own life in Oman. The message read, Our beloved Tim was a seeker, a fragile artistic soul searching for answers to existential questions. An overachieving perfectionist who travelled and worked hard at a pace that led to extreme stress. When he stopped touring, he wanted to find a balance in life to be happy and be able to do what he loved most music. He really struggled with thoughts about meaning, life, happiness. The heartbreaking post continued, he could not go on any longer. He wanted to find peace. Tim was not made for the business machine he found himself in, he was a sensitive guy who loved his fans but shunned the spotlight. Ovisa quit touring in 2016 after a string of health problems, including having both his gallbladder and his appendix removed. He explained at the time to Daily Star, I probably still drink far more now than I should. The scene was not for me.
It was not the shows and not the music. It was always the other stuff surrounding it that never came naturally to me. I took on board too much negative energy. In his 2017 documentary True Stories, the true extent of a vis's unhappy life was revealed, with the superstar appearing emotional and drained as he battled to get through his epic schedule. He turned into a shell of the guy he used to be, one of his pals explained during the Netflix talk. During the summer of 2015, Ovisi hit out at the media in a string of explicit tweets and Instagram posts following an interview about working with Madonna on her Rebel Heart album where he admitted he wasn't happy with how their tracks turned out after she changed his demos. At the beginning we were all on the same page and then. I wasn't. Happy with the final product, he told Daily Star Online before adding, I thought it, the demos, was better. It was more me. Shortly after the online meltdown, the superstar's pals stepped in to help get a visa on the straight and narrow. We shut off Tim's email, we shut off his phone, his friend continued during True Stories. That was a really good time for him, it was a very, very nice period. Ovisi later told Rolling Stone he felt he let the Queen of Pop down. He explained in 2017 after announcing his return to music, it love to work with her again, but that was right when I was busiest, and I think she might have been disappointed in me for not being able to put in as much time as she wanted. A lot of things start suffering when you don't have the energy or time to do things properly.